today is kind of exciting. Well, it could be not exciting, but hopefully it is. I am parked outside of the house that I am going to look at. There's like a room to sublease. I actually really need to go. I'm so tired also. My head feels like a bowling ball, like just like weighs so much. I'm so tired. But yes, so I'm outside of the house in the University of Washington kind of area where it's just a bunch of college houses and basically students leave for the summer and have rooms to sublease. So I'm going to look at one and see if I want to sublease it. So yeah, let's go take a look. That went super well. I loved the room. I pretty much immediately was like, yes, cool. I'm down to live here. Great. The roommates are cool. Guys, I'm gonna have roommates. This is gonna be so fun. I'm really excited, actually. I'm gonna get a whole summer to work on my parallel parking. So, that's great. That was awesome. When I got off the freeway and just turned into the neighborhood, I kind of got like a weird feeling like, oh, maybe I'm not gonna like this. Like this could be weird. I don't know, what am I doing? And then like when I met the girls and I went inside the house, I was like, this is super cool. And it's actually a pretty nice house for like college housing. It's so cool because like I grew up like an hour away from Seattle, like the actual city. And you know, I say I want to move back, but it's like, do I really want to? It's like really figuring out if I do want to. That's easy to say when you're at home and every night you're just with your family and like hanging out and having fun because that's awesome and everything but like if I moved in the into the actual city you know would I start to feel isolated and lonely or would I have an awesome time and meet new people and get to know it and love it even more so living here like in the city for the summer will be perfect for me I think just absolutely perfect yeah so one of my friends I went to high school with her name's Lindsay she's moving into that house too and that, that's how I found the house I texted Lindsay I was like hey do you know of any housing and so yeah that was the room it was so cute guys I officially said yes I can't believe this I had this thought literally last week I was like wait why don't I do that why don't I just sublease a place and now like four days later I'm super excited it's gonna be such an incredible feeling to know that I could just like go to a Mariners game or go to Gasworks or go to U Village or go downtown or go any of these places and it's only gonna take like 15 minutes I'm so excited this is the season. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, now I'm gonna text Rayleigh and Haley and see if they wanna go get lunch. Hey, hey, hey. How's my best girlfriend? Hey, hey, hey. How's my best girlfriend? Mom. You guys, I love the room. I'm moving in. No, you're not. Yes. <laughs> On Tuesday. That's awesome. I know. That's really exciting. You're really close then. I know. Oh my gosh, you're so excited. <laughs> The market's really competitive because people want to get their kids in. get their kids in school and stuff like that. They want to. All right, that was a successful outing with Rayleigh and Haley. I got my eyebrows done. Rayleigh graciously filmed that experience. Went to Nordstrom and got a shirt. It's just this kind of spaghetti strap. Does anyone say spaghetti strap anymore? Was that really embarrassing of me? tank um in like a black and white stripe now i'm heading back 45 minutes that's not bad let's go after an hour drive i'm back home for the rest of the afternoon i'm just gonna put some makeup on and film a main channel video so i'll just do kind of like a getting ready with you sort of thing or you're getting ready with me um yeah that hour drive like kind of sucked i'm really ready for that to be over i've been driving a lot recently like kind of long road trip things like went to santa barbara that was like three hours went to vegas that was like five six hours I went to vancouver that was like three hours like these long drives where you have to occupy your mind you can listen to music for a little while but it starts to get boring so i like to listen to audiobooks on audible music's cool but your brain's not really like actively engaged so time feels like it goes by really slow but with audiobooks listening to them it's like you're listening to the story and you're processing it and so your brain's actually like engaged in it and time goes by so much quicker audiobooks in traffic make time go by twice as fast i swear so i've been using that if you have a long drive coming up or an annoying commute and you're sick of your music you should try audible if you use audible.com slash monica church It'll be linked below. You get a 30 day free trial, so you should check that out. So, right now, I'm listening to The Art of Not Giving a 
I'm always so drawn just to like these self-help book sort of things because you gain something from it that makes you feel better or like makes you realize something I think. Especially like millennial life crisis, like these sorts of books I feel like you guys would be into too. This one in particular, The Art of Not Giving It, talks a lot about, you know, like our generation and finding happiness. People say like, oh, just be positive. Just, you can't just really like decide to be positive and turn that on. There's so many factors going on in your life that might make you feel not positive. Like maybe you hate your job. So you could literally be on vacation in Hawaii and still just feel like anxious about life because you have that weighing down on you. And it's like about finding happiness and wealth in your life and how do you define wealth do you define it as money because if you do like that could be a problem because at the end of the day the most wealthy people are the ones that are happy with their lives because of their relationships with people their friendships wealth doesn't have to mean living in a mansion and driving a sports car that doesn't make you happy that just makes you materialistic like all that stuff is superficial and it only lasts for so long. Not to say those people aren't happy. I feel like on social media and everything, everyone wants all these designer items which cost a lot of money. And if you want those, then you have to have a job that makes a lot of money. And that job probably sucks and ruins your life. And it's something you don't want to be doing. And you're spending all your time doing something you don't want to be doing. And that's just wasting your life. And that's not a wealthy life at all. So I don't know, maybe give that a listen. But yeah, make up with the sponge. I just got this brush. We're gonna see if it's soft. It's by e.l.f. Feel soft? Oh yeah, this is soft. Eh, it's a little itchy. It's like soft, but then it leaves your face and it feels like kind of itchy. I don't know, it was $8 compared to like these are easily run for like $45 other places, so whatever. I feel like everyone in LA is like competing with each other to like be more successful. Kind of like New York's like that too. It's just annoying. Freshly done eyebrows, highlighting them. What are the best feelings? I'm not really an expert at makeup, but that'll do. No, you need to not like glob. Like, why are you globbing? Okay, I'll finish. That's gonna end it for today's vlog. Thanks for watching. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. The summer sublease is till the end of August. So I think, I feel like I forgot to say that. It's not for like a long time. It's like for the summer. I move in on Tuesday or Wednesday. One sometime this week. So tune into the vlogs for that. It's gonna be fun. And yeah, see you guys later. Okay, Thank you.